be some staffing issues or something with the same pot of money that we can service the coast because it, it is a longer ways from the coast to Ukiah than it is from up the hill and Willits. All right, thank you. Yeah. Supervisor Koufax. Yeah, I, uh, eight years ago when the drug courts were reeling from uh, losing some of their funding and so forth, this board stu uh, stepped up, a couple of us uh, from that particular board, and, uh, and got uh, very much behind this. And uh, it was with the expectation that we were going to get see this uh, broaden and uh, and develop uh, and to include the coast. Now that's eight years ago. Uh, I also have spent many hours sitting with probation. And again, I'm, I think we're talking to the wrong people here. I think you know we need your bosses here in here, and I think we need to have the CEO uh, office uh, at least involve the supervisor a little bit in this particular process uh, as to what's happened in the past. But I, you know, I commend the effort to get more funding for whatever element in all of this. But again, it's just kind of a kind of a, that slippage because Supervisor Smith and I remember several after hours meetings uh, uh, with the probation and so forth. If we could only pull in this kind of person for this kind of time, and again, I'm, I'm, this is not something that you know you should have to really pay a whole lot of attention to. So I apologize for it, but I think here as supervisors here you know we've been very supportive and I have to say I bristle a little bit when I hear that we're responding to what the court has asked for you know I mean it's a wonderful group of people but we are the ones who really had to step up when the courts couldn't deliver uh, eight years ago and uh, it's a cooperative kind of enterprise and again it was just a matter of getting one more probation person and working out a little different protocol and it's complicated I agree but we've got to we've really got to get a uh, recognition here is we are not serving people who have done anything worse than people over here who have the benefits of having the drug court option and that is a major liability particularly if your life's in chaos and a mess and you, you know all this but except for one thing it's better to live in Ukiah and have this opportunity and have uh, these kind of problems than it is to live on the coast and uh, in that regard I'm not arguing for the fifth district or the fourth district I'm arguing for the fact here is we have taken a long time and here we go again we got some more money and of course we need to augment what's over here but whatever happened to the discussions we had over the last two two and a half years on this later thing so would you please carry the message back to your boss uh, that uh, or at least uh, at least this supervisor really feels a little bit of sense here that hey you know uh, what's happened here where's the muscle uh, on this because we we just can't say well yeah we beefed it up here inland because that's still not delivering to the folks that can simply cannot make it over the hill to take advantage of the situation I'm aware of the complications but again we were trying to work out some of those uh, those uh, bits and pieces but now it looks like that's kind of been forgotten about or just people are just not aware of it so I would I would like some uh, some kind of responsiveness to this uh, for the next round so that a year from now we're not saying well what about last year how come we didn't do this and so on so thank you for coming and thank you listening to us mr. Mitchell just just offer some some comments for you there uh, what we're waiting for at this time to have some further discussions on this and a number of issues is what's happening with the governor's budget as of the fiscal crisis that's due in the 23rd with all state agencies including the administrative office of the courts having to have a 10 percent reduction in their service programs i think uh, it will be imperative that county staff engage with the courts on a number of different levels to discuss what the, what the ultimate impact will be that being said um, i have attended a lot of uh, prop 36 uh, graduation classes and every barrier that you put in front of uh, those um, people that are going through that program keeps you from having successful graduations so it is important distance is a consideration that I think we will uh, discuss with uh, Carmel and her agency about how can we be effective in delivering these services 
and making a difference in those people's lives. So we, we will be engaging more on this after we know more about what the state is doing come uh, February 23rd is the deadline with the state legislature. And if I may, I, I've attended probably 90% of the drug court graduations in this county uh, in the last three and a half years. And it has a tremendous impact both to the client but also to the taxpayer in savings of ha allowing the client to move through the drug court situation instead of incarceration, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't think you're hearing any opposition from this board. It's more of an equity situation. And I agree with uh, my colleague to my left that uh, maybe the, the situation be better focused on the coast and inland instead of just up the road uh, 25 minutes. So something to look at but yes we have to take into account the budget etc um, this is I keep I'm gonna keep reiterating this this is gonna be an extremely tough year for all of us you know we're looking at uh, various cuts from uh, our muscle bound governor and uh, maybe his muscles not uh, exactly between his shoulder blades at certain points so um, it, it uh, it's gonna be very difficult year and to achieve new goals and new uh, priorities but um, uh, it is something that um, can be improved, and it has a very vital payback to the client, the taxpayer, and us, the government. So, Mr. Chairman, just make one final comment on that. Perhaps the, this concept of regionalization, giving, given the fiscal constraints that we're operating on, under and the ones that we're uh, predicting and know will be going forward, is something that the executive office can take conceptually and send it on to the department so when we go through the budget process regionalization is something that can be crafted in the into the budget so we we won't have to have specific discussions along these lines on various you know line items or basic department budgets it can be infused into the process so a lot a number of those issues can be addressed in, in the process of going of going through the budget allocation thank you do I hear any action on this item five from the consent counter so moved. Second. second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded by Supervisor Pinches for the approval of the consent item number five. Any further discussion on the board level? Any discussion from the public? Okay, hearing and seeing none, all those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you for attending the meeting, answering any questions. Okay, moving on to our timed item at 1.30. We're uh, 20 minutes behind schedule here. Um, this item is a planned public hearing uh, to consider an appeal of a planning commission action of November 15th, uh, 2007, denying the following project. Uh, P1-205 Hawthorne Timber. And uh, we'll go to the uh, director's comments first. Then the board can address uh, the issues to the staff. Um, Madam Clerk, has proper notice been established for this? Yes, we do have proper notice. Okay. And um, do any board of supervisors acknowledge any contact with the proponents or opponents of this uh, item? I've had no com uh, contact at all. Hearing can we have that move, Matt, maybe put down here someplace where it's less blocking the sure. audience? Okay. I'd like a little closer so I could read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think maybe put it down or something so it's not blocking the audience. Yeah, take it off of there and just yeah. set it down. Yeah. That's great, Johnny. That really works. <laughs> <laughs> I can read it now. <laughs> okay, I uh, acknowledge no contact by the board uh, proponents of the <laughs> appellant. Um, and so the procedure is going to be, uh, we'll hear from the staff on the report. Um, the Board of Supervisors have any comments, questions at that point. Then we'll move to the appellant for 20-minute maximum. Um, we'll note correspondence. Um, 